Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Subnautica, the sea-based survival game. Now we're going to be looking at how to find one of the ingredients to the hatching enzyme. In particular, the subnautical fungal sample. Now the fungal sample, as such, isn't something you can just find intuitively. A little bit of thought goes behind it, but fortunately for you, I have found it and I'm going to show you quick and easy how to do it in under five minutes dead simple. Now, spoiler alert, we are going to be going through finding this and the location, so if you want to do it yourself and maintain a bit of mystery for the game, that's fine, but then I've got to ask, why are you here? Sign off this video now. But before you do, hit that like and subscribe button and also that notification icon, and that'll let you know when I'm putting more Subnautica videos on YouTube. But, let's get ready and find that sample. Okay, so we're in the main containment atrium with all the specimens in cases around. You've seen the sea emperor, they've said, hey, here's a hatch and enzyme, that's what you've got to go and get and pick up all these ingredients. Hey, that's fine, no worries. So, facing the ion cubes, you're gonna move over and walk past that little item that looks like those um, things from Tron, the Disney film Tron. Anyway, you're gonna move past that and you're gonna go into this room. You're going to go up the slidey steps, up the ramp, should we say. And you're going to move on up there, move in nice and quickly. Nothing really to see. Look out for any mechanical spiders that are looking around. They can really be a pain, do you know what? And you're going to get an ion cube, and you're going to put an ion cube on that pedestal. That is going to activate the Subnautica-type Stargate transportation portal, right? Then you're going to go through there, and you're going to spawn in another part of the map. Okay, this takes a little while for it to generate the map and for the, com the computer to work out where you are and the game's got to spawn what's coming up. So it's a bit of a transition, but you know, enjoy the new color palette. Um, and here we are. Right, so we've come out, we're in another cave. No messing about now. There's going to be little critters skittering around everywhere, those spiders, and they're just more an irritant than anything else. Move along this path. This path is going to be highlighted as well by those alien path markers that we've seen, as you can see on the screen there. And here you are, you're coming to that water airlock type device. Now, it's a cave outside. Get your flashlight on. We're off. Right, okay, let's go through the cave. Dodging all the fish, having a look at what materials. Don't get distracted. You're going to make your way to the surface and you're going to see these mushrooms. Now those explorers amongst you will say, hey, I know where that is. It's not your typical mushroom forest where you find all the sea moth and cyclops parts, right? This is another one to the west, really, of where you start off. You're going to go up to that mushroom. You're going to cut off a sample of that mushroom tree and that's going to give you the fungal sample. Couldn't be easier than that, right? Dead simple. But unless you knew, you'd be running around looking for fungal samples. Hey, play a little bit of logic. What's a mushroom? It's a fungus. Chop a mushroom, you're gonna get a fungal sample. Get yourself back down through the caverns and back through the portal. Interestingly to note, right, that when you come up into this fungal forest, you're only about 900 meters away from your starting location. So we have to go and then make your hatching enzyme, right? Get your sea glide out, and it'll take you about three to four minutes to get back to your base, and therefore you can then spawn um, that hatching, that hatching, you can create that en hatching enzyme. Okay, so that was how you create, um, or how you find the fungal sample in Subnautica for the Subnautica hatching enzyme that is wanted by the Sea Empress. I've been Ricardo. This has been Ricardo's Gaming. Subnautica, like I say, a fantastic game. Check back and see more Subnautica videos and how-to videos on the channel. Also other games on there as well. Swim safe and check out the next video in the series.